Hey guys, and welcome to something, well, a little different. I did say I might be throwing out a couple of these videos every now and then, and well, here's the first one. This is really more of just sort of a trial to see how many of you out there really have interest in it, and to kind of show off the game for anyone who hasn't been watching it, although given how many Minecraft players have been putting out LPs of this, I'd be surprised if you hadn't seen any gameplay of Terraria. But. It's a game that, uh, as I said, I've been kind of getting into myself, and I thought I would show you guys some of the things that I said I would. So, I think what I'd like to do in this one is show you the first boss. I have not actually fought this guy yet myself, but not that you'd be able to tell from uh, how, I guess, leveled up and overpowered I am. <laughs> as you can see, I'm at full health and full mana. Now, the full health is not my fault, I was just getting really, really lucky in the caves. Anyway, I will do a more, I guess, thorough tour later. But for now, it looks like it is actually starting to get to be nightfall, so... <sighs> Let me put that back in my inventory. Oh, where'd it go? I actually have a nice little arena up here that is literally only reachable when you're re not recording, apparently. There we go. And for those of you who have been playing Terraria, if you are wondering, well, yes, those are silver bricks. And no, I didn't make them. I raided all the sky uh, islands, actually. And I had uh, quite a bit left over. So let's see, let me go ahead and get ready for this fight here. Don't believe I'll be needing that. The regen will be very helpful. So as you can see, I am pretty much maxed out with everything I can do at this point. I've got gold everything, except for the hammer. Never seemed really important to upgrade that. That one's currently at just silver, which is plenty for me. So let's see. Just waiting for the sun to set. If this takes much longer, I'll just jump right ahead till it's night. Okay, here we are, finally at night. You can tell by the change in the music. Now, this is the suspicious looking eye. It summons the first boss, known as the Eye of Cthulhu. So, let's get ready. It takes, if you don't beat him in the span of the night time, I believe you automatically get killed and you have to do it all over again. So, oh come on, click. Ah. Okay, so I have seen a number of LPers beat this guy before, but I have never ever fought him seriously. For those of you who do know the game, you know that once you get your 10th heart, oh you little punk, that he'll just start spawning randomly every time it turns nighttime which can be very annoying, and has gotten to be very, very annoying recently. Oh, no. Oh, God. I hate that. I hate that the mouse is used for everything, because then you start clicking in the wrong places. Ugh. Ooh, I like that. Oh, no. I definitely like having three bands of regeneration on. It makes this fight a lot easier. Also, the, uh, the extra jumping and speed comes in handy. Now, one thing to watch out for is when he gets to about halfway, actually, I think when he gets to exactly to halfway, he changes up and gets mean. <laughs> As if he isn't already being an annoying little guy right now. He actually gets mean and annoying. Let's see how we're doing. Ah! Ooh, you little sneaky thing. Not paying attention. Ooh, die, 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 die. Ah!
The only good thing about his second form is that he'll actually... Oh my god, I did it again. He'll stop shooting his little minions out at you. Oh, so not used to keeping my eye on two different things at once. Gotta keep an eye on the cursor, and my guy, and the boss. <laughs> Too much information overload. Information overload, man! Alright, we're getting there. It's taking forever. <laughs> but my regen is staying pretty good. Believe it or not, I actually found every single regen band in the depths of the world beneath me. I got really lucky with a bunch of caves. Uh-oh. Now he's mad. And he does a lot more damage. Might have to actually start getting into, uh... Ooh! Some of my potions. Ooh, really? Jester arrows! Die! They're called Jester arrows, I believe, because they actually go in... No, not the pickaxe! What am I doing? Because you can actually see they sort of explode into nice little pretty fireworks. Been holding on to these for a while, didn't know what to use them for, and I figured this guy is as good a reason as any. They do a lot of damage, as you can tell, considering I was only getting four out of their shurikens. Is he at? Okay, 469. Yeah, yeah. I can heal 200, you can only damage me 20. Bring it, mother... Yeah. <laughs> Like two more hits. What do we got? Last hit. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, that was fun. <laughs> oh. uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I've been putting that off for so long. I don't know why. I just thought it was going to be a lot more difficult than that. So let's see. What kind of loot did we make out with? Demonite ore. That's one of the minerals I need to be able to actually move on in this game with weapons. Got some corrupt seeds. And... Let's see. Hmm. That's not very much. Oh, okay. He dropped a bunch of money. Alright, cool. Okay, well... I think that's all I'm really going to put in this little special episode for you guys, so... I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you again in the next Little Terraria special.